Hi, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to show you a brilliant way that you can use ChatGPT to find out more about your target market and your ideal buyer persona. So these are all the kind of things that you need to do, particularly when you're starting a business and you really want to understand who is your customer so that everything that you generate thereafter in terms of marketing, particularly written content, is aimed at that perfect person because then you're going to get so much better results. Not only that, once you've got this perfect um, buyer persona, you can then use that information with ChatGPT to help it generate all of that content too. So really useful. So first thing you're going to need in order to do this is to head over to here. This is the uh, Chrome store and go and grab this free extension called AI PRM for ChatGPT. You can see it's got like half a million users already and a ton of uh, five star reviews. So it's doing pretty well. And what it does is just enable you to use lots of other people's prompts. And the one that we're going to focus on today is this one, which is by a persona legend. And it's by a chap called Ron. He has a YouTube channel over here, by the way. This is the channel. Um, this gentleman here, Ron, came up with this and created this prompt and put it into this AI PRM. So once you've installed it, you'll be able to do a search. And I just searched for buyer just there to be able to find this. And then you just literally click on it. And then you're able to start putting in the information that it needs in order to tell you about your perfect target uh, audience. So I'm going to use an example for this one. I'm just going to put the products that I sell. That's the first thing that you put in. I'm just going to put in essential oils. Why? Because I've got some in my office right here in one of those steamer things. And I thought I'd use that. And then I'm going to put a space dash and then I'm going to put London as the location for the person. And then I'm just going to uh, choose the tone here. I'm going to keep it friendly. I think that's good. And a conversational tone. And then the output, you can even choose different languages. So even if you, um, you know, input in English, the output can be in your chosen language. And then we'll just click go and watch the magic and what it does for you. It starts to create a table here of a fictitious person who is your perfect customer. And so table number one is the demographics. So the name, we're going to call her Charlotte. That's what a uh, chat GPT thinks that your target market is going to be, a Charlotte. Um, age 33, occupation is a yoga instructor, someone who's interested in health and wellness. Um, annual income, £30,000. Marital status is single and they have no children. And then the location, London, which we gave them anyway. Then the next thing is the user description. And this is really good because it kind of gives you an overview of, of your target customer. Sharla is a health conscious 33 year old yoga instructor from London who is passionate about aromatherapy and natural remedies. She's looking for high quality essential oils that are effective in relieving stress, improving sleep and enhancing mood. So that's a really good user description. And then the psychographics, so personal characteristics. These are also useful for you to create marketing around. Mindful, holistic, health conscious, spiritual. They're also really good words to use within your marketing. Um, hobbies, yoga, meditation, reading, hiking and traveling. And then the interest, uh, natural remedies, wellness, self-care, sustainability and spirituality. Uh, personal aspirations to live a balanced and meaningful life, to inspire others to live healthfully and mindfully. And then we've got professional goals, pains, you need pains when you're creating marketing, stress, anxiety, lack of sleep and negative energy are all things which, you know, they don't want. Your potential customer doesn't want that. So including those things as a solution with your product in your marketing is obviously going to help sales big time. And then you've got needs and dreams. Look at that. To live in a world where people prioritize their well-being and the well-being of the planet. Sounds like a good dream to me. Uh, like this video, by the way, if you're finding this useful. And uh, Shopping behaviors. Now, this is another really useful thing. So how much have they got to spend each month? Now, ChatGPT has worked out that it's between 30 and 50 pounds. That's sterling. Um, and then we've got the shopping frequency once a month. 
and then preferred channels, health and wellness stores, probably physical stores and e-commerce websites. And then the search terms it even gives you here to use or that they would use to find your product. And of course, you can use ChatGPT to get a whole bunch of other search terms. And then uh, I'll be doing some videos on the SEO capabilities of uh, ChatGPT in another one. And then triggers, things that would get them to a purchase, things that are like buzzwords for them that set off a little thing in their mind that says this is the one. So uh, promotions, discounts, natural ingredients, ethically sourced products and positive reviews, of course. And then the barriers, the things that might stop them from purchasing your service or product, high prices, a lack of information on sourcing and sustainability practices and inconvenient ordering and delivery processes. So this is a, a really, a really good way of truly understanding your buyer persona which is a, a, like a basic thing in marketing that you need to have so that you can once again create all of that marketing content to the best of your ability now tr truly knowing your customer. Now what you can do with this is because obviously you don't want to kind of have to scroll through this all the time uh, in ChatGPT is you can actually copy all of this and if you just literally grab the whole lot like this, and you're able to just press Command C if you're on a Mac, Control C if you're on a PC, and then go and paste that into a Google Doc. Uh, and you can format it very easily once you're in Google to make it look you know, just like this really, but on nice white background within your Google Doc, and then just save it. And then that will be something that you can print it out, put it on your desk. You can refer to every time that you sit down to create any kind of social media content, you know, any kind of emails, even if you're using ChatGPT to, to really get that uh, messaging on target so it resonates with your person, your customer. So I hope you really found that useful. If you did, please do subscribe to my channel. And by the way, if you want to find out more prompts uh, and more brilliant things that you can do with ChatGPT, I encourage you to join um, this free ChatGPT community. There's a link underneath the video. We've gained over 1.1 thousand members in two weeks and it's growing now at around 200 to 250 people per day. Uh, I think probably we'll hit 300 people per day. People are sharing really good stuff like, like that extension that you've just seen there and other extensions too. So there's an awful lot of good advice coming into this community from people using ChatGPT all around the world. So if you want access to that, the URL's underneath, just click on it and just join for free and get involved. And don't forget to fill out your bio because so many people, um, you know, just put like hi or something like that. What you want is a really good bio. Um, and let me just have a look at this gentleman here. There you go. Digital product maker with 350 projects, 255 star reviews um, as an employer at freelancer.com since 2002. There you go. So use a great bio. Use your bios um, wisely because there's a lot of networking going on in this group too in uh, chat GPT. All right. Thanks for watching this video so much and I'll see you in the next one and uh, have a great day.